This is B. Brian Blair's final match, Jason. We're going to call B. Brian Blair's final match. And he handpicked his opponent tonight. Yep. And you can't find anyone better than James Jeffries. I just unbuttoned myself. I, it got we, sexier I'm in exhausted. here, yeah. yeah. It, it's You're been, exhausted. We're, yes, yes. We've seen so many matches. We're at match 10 now. We're at match 10. And everything has just been off the hook. Everything's been amazing. And I want to know, I want to know James Jeffries' gear. Reminiscent to Macho Man when he took on the Ultimate Warrior. Okay. And uh, if folks remember, that was Macho Man. He had his career on the line. Yes. Now, in this matchup, Brian Blair, it's not a career on the line. It's the career's done. He, we know he, it's going to be over. Win, lose, or draw. Win, lose, or draw. This is B. Brian Blair's final match. Yep. A distinct honor for James Jeffries to take part in this. The always beloved James Jeffries. Listen to this. You know, uh, there's a lot of things you get to do in wrestling. You call a lot of matches, you see a lot of things, but we'll let this one speak for itself. Yeah, the legend's gonna speak here, man. You know, after five decades of wrestling, after wrestling in over 5,000 wrestling matches in over 40 countries, in every state of the United States of America, and in every city of over 500,000 people, tonight I came to Waterloo, Iowa. 
I don't know why. What the hell? You know, I don't know what why. What the hell? What the hell? I mean, after the, that. No business. No business out here. I've done despicable stuff, but man. Well, that, that is there is uh, a lot you could say about Maddie Starr. Um, and one of those things is he is a historian of wrestling, and he respects the sport of wrestling, oh, yeah. as does James Jeffries. And that respect absolutely extends now, to that man. That. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. He's I can't do that. He's that ready man, for tonight, man. That is, that is Dee Brian Blair. And this is, once again, being 
officiated by the great James Beard. And here's James Jeffries and And he has it. Look at that. It James and a very good amateur and take, it, take it around. It's one look thing. Just still has an unbelievable athletic ability. It, it, it doesn't go away no. with, with someone like uh, me, Brian. Sorry, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I don't know what to say. He has, you can't name something he hasn't done. You can't name a place he hasn't been to and wrestled and won. And of a man of his caliber, his legend, here in Waterloo at the Hall of Fame, and, and, again, and, and again someone like James Jeffries, uh, it, it, it is um, astounding. It is an honor. And it's, it's something I never thought that I'd be able to uh, call in my life. No. It's not an easy choice to make the decision. Uh, just just that, okay, you know, this is, this is, this is it for me. You know, that, that doesn't come that's lightly. No. And that's that's coming from that is coming from Jason Prentice, who has had yeah. numerous run-ins with James Jeffries. I mean, you can't. Yes, and that's what's in the ring right now too. All in, James Beard. James Beard, which yeah, that is that that was another one of those things that you're just like, my God, how many how many cool things get to? Oh wow, how many cool things get to can happen at this specific Hall of Fame event? And um, this being one of them, this might be the top. Oh! That drop kick there by Jeffrey. And another. Oh, comes over Big Ten here. Got two. That was almost it for, for B. Brian Blair. It does look like a little pain on the tailbone of uh, Blair here. Well, you know. This is one of those. This is one of those things that uh, James takes honor in, and James is a competitor. James, wa make no mistake about it. James wants to win this match, but I don't know if he would take any sort oh of boy. Oh boy. pleasure in um, pinning B. Brian Blair at all. But both of these individuals are trying to win the damn match. He, he doesn't want to go out on a loss. What? Oh, wait a second. Hey, hey, hey. Wait a what second. Is, what is? What is? What is? Oh, you got to be kidding. Come on. James, J no, 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 no. No, no, no. no. Oh! Why is... Why? Of all, every match that he has to get involved in, damn it. Do it! Yeah! There we go! Yeah. Maddie Starr. Maddie Starr. Has no respect, Look at the respect there. for James Jeffries. Wait a sec. He wants to win. You, you want to go out on top. He just said you shouldn't turn your back on me like that. It's not that he disrespects him. He's still teaching. That's all it is. He's just teaching. Exactly. It's not his. Brian Blair didn't just turn on the crowd and say, hey. He just gave a lesson. Like this is said. how he was taught. This is how he's going to teach James Jeffries. Yep. Don't turn your back on me because you think I'm the old man. He's actually got some of James's hair coming out of his knuckles. In between his fingers. Wow! That is still power. Nice kick out there. Powerful kick out there by Jeffries. James Beard. Again, legendary official on hand tonight to make sure a one, two, and three were a subject. This call. 
as he's taking the legend, B. Brian Blair is taking James Jeffries from pillar to post. Ooh, that was right. That was in a fourth or fifth rib. Look at the mark. You can already see right out Oof. of the breastplate there. Oh, oh. Out and of a lesson. You said it, right? That's right. Can't see? Well, He's going. He wants to go out on top. Yeah. I don't blame the man, to be honest with you. I mean, I don't know if I would go to Man, these right these there. aspects it almost at this point kind of seems like uh brian may have may have spoken with uh the captain and maddie before this match because they're but still they're out here yeah no one's oh! gonna oh! <laughs> He, he back right to <laughs> Have you ever seen that? Oh. B. Brian Blair just this. told Miss Ricky Drew to. I don't know, sis. Yeah. We didn't tell. Chutzpah, I think is what that's called. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh Ooh. As he just pulled James out by his trunks. Back first on the ring apron. Wait a second. Hey, hey, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Once again, you can't tell me that they, this was not coordinated. Did the captain get into the ear? Did the this captain get into the ear of Brian Blair? you got to wonder, man. I mean, you'd know how to do that. I know people. You know what the to say. Captain knows people. I just didn't think you knew Brian Blair. Uh oh! oh bad <laughs> Brian, you shouldn't have ticked off the Angry Bear. No! Macho backbreaks. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh now, now, now Brian's, Brian's begging and pleading for James to let up. And if I know James Jeffries, he's not going to do that. After an eye poke, there. after a kick. Oh my goodness! And a big discus. Nothing Brian could do to block. Punch. Wait a second. And there, oh Jesus Christ! Still outside the ring. And now, Maddie just. They, they, I, if, if, if you had any any suspicions before, I feel like they've just been confirmed that B. Brian Blair, Maddie Star, and your captain are at, at best in cahoots. Oh wow. And putting him down, it looks like James is going to go up to the top row. Well, this is where James has had success. This is where things get interesting. Like and of in course, season. of course, Matty Star up on the apron. Why tonight? Oh! oh. No. Even after... Captain Midnight Guthrie got involved. James Jeffries was able to sh go for an elbow drop, but two, two holes away, took too much shot. And there's that floor Oh, oh my, my god. god. Oh my god. Oh my god. B. Brian oh Blair just god. hit James Jeffries over the head with that Florida championship. What the hell? Brian. Brian, what? He just clobbered him. Are you kidding me? Brian. What the Oh my God! Are you kidding me, Brian? What? Why, dude? We have seen some hideous actions. We've been surprised by a lot of things tonight. Why? Why? Surprised by a lot, a lot of things tonight, and uh, this might be the most surprising to me. You know? I there's there's a uh, there, there's a conference going on here. As everyone tending to James Everett, he was just. Despicable. Look, I've done some shady things. Yeah, I, I, I to say the least. I tried to punch JJ Dillon in the face. The whole time I the was there for that. I may or may not have. I've done a lot of things. But on tonight, a oh, why? 